Hi, this is Gilly Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling responsive because today our quote of the day is all about reactivity versus responsivity and it goes like this. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it by Charles Swindle. Do you react to situations or do you respond to situations? Reactions are, they come from your instinct and they stem from the subconscious mind. A reaction to a situation has no filtering process. It is a default behavior that you have taken on. And when you react, you may say things or do things that have serious long-term impl implications, but these are not considered when you react to a situation. Responding to a situation, on the other hand, makes you think before you do something. There is thought behind the action. You think of the implications of your actions before you make them. Most of us tend to react to situations based on our beliefs. However, it is possible to respond to situations from a clear mind without carrying all of the weight of our previous experiences with us. Reacting to a situation is often reacting in a way that is not positive, in a way that we would have preferred have not to have reacted. Whereas responding to a situation is examining the situation, thinking of it quickly and clearly, and then seeing that you can handle the situation and the best way that you can handle it. You can handle actually any situation. As difficult as it may seem, you can cope and you can respond instead of reacting. I know that I do not always respond to situations and when it comes to my daughters, especially if something happens to them, then I tend often to react much more than I respond. But this way of behaving has negative consequences for me. Firstly, and most obviously, there are health consequences. When we react, all of our stress hormones flood our body and leave us feeling drained and lifeless. But when we respond to situations, then we feel that we have the situation under our control because we really do have the situation under our control. When we respond to a situation, we have the notion that we have control over the situation through the control we have over ourselves. Now, when we respond, instead of reacting to a situation, we have the power also to change the situation. Think of what would happen if you reacted to your child breaking a plate with screams. Now the child would run away and probably feel hurt and their self-esteem will also be hurt. Now think of what would happen if you responded to the situation instead. You would say, okay, now let's clean this up. Nothing really bad happened. Your child would not feel threatened and they would probably even help you clean up the mess. The situation is changed just by your different response to the situation. All reactions come from the ego, while all responses come from your true nature, which is love. When you respond, you are the one who is in control. There is always a choice to react to a situation or to respond to it. Now, I understand that it may be very hard to believe this, especially when your reaction comes fast to any situation as it is an instinct such as anger or fear, but this is what is inside of you. Basically, your reaction brings to light what is inside of you in the form of your thoughts and your beliefs. Your thoughts and beliefs come to the surface through your reaction. Now, this is an opportunity for you to get rid of this excess baggage that you hold. If you acknowledge your reaction and understand that it is not how you want to respond to such a situation, because it is not in your benefit in any way, then you can change the thoughts and beliefs that cause this reaction to come out of you and improve your life dramatically. Your thoughts and beliefs that lead to bad reactions to situations can be a belief of lack of love, lack of understanding, lack of time, lack of resources, uh, including money or lack of opportunities or fear and general worry of what could happen. Deep inside, when you believe these things, you are actually bringing such negative situations that will continue to affirm these thoughts and beliefs to you. So you actually attract these negative situations to you when you have these negative beliefs, when you hold them on to these negative beliefs. So if you desire to lead a happy and pleasant life, the reactions 
you have to different situations are as signposts of what you need to remove from you in order to reveal the bliss that is already found within you. It is there. It just needs to be uncovered. Remember that all your beliefs are true only because you believe in them. That's why they're called beliefs. But if you stop believing them or start to question them, then you will see that they will lose their power over you. Become aware, aware of any reaction you have to any given situation. Think about what you have taken personally in this situation, about this situation. And this will show you what your thoughts on the subject really are. These thoughts are surfacing so that you can change them. Then these thoughts no longer have their grip on you. You release them. You set them free. All that, it is, not, that, all that is not true or real will be revealed to you through your reactions and then you can let go of these thoughts, feelings and beliefs and lead to a much less burdened life. When you release these false feelings and beliefs, then you become free. I will share an example from my life. When I became sick with cancer, I started to feel as if I was working against the clock. Time was no longer on my side and I needed to do everything and manage as much as I could in this life. Now, everything I did was calculated by the time that it would take me to do it, and everything was planned to the, with a very tight schedule. Anything that took me away uh, from my plans or took away time from me made me angry. So every time I would drive on the street, almost I, I would almost always get angry and be very impatient when other drivers would waste my time. I was reacting to the situation. Even during red lights, when they were too long in my mind, I would react. I would get angry. And then I understood this. I understood that I always felt that there was a lack of time. And this is what made me very nervous. Although I still work on a very tight schedule, I understood that all will be done and achieved at the right time. And there is no lack of time. And I don't need to worry about it. All lack, Only this lack was on my mind. It was not in reality. It was not real. And when I changed this false belief, suddenly I had much more time than I expected. Suddenly I had lots of pockets of time, free time that were not av available or not visible for me because I was wasting my time on just being angry. So can you imagine how much abundance you actually have in your life? Any belief that states otherwise is purely wrong. It comes from the mind and it is false. You do have enough. You have enough money. You have enough time. You have enough love. You have enough health. You have enough friends, enough support, enough beauty, patience, faith. You have everything. You have abundance of everything. All you need to do to see this abundance is to remove the blindfolds that your thoughts and beliefs have created for you. Then you will never react again to anything, or at least you will do it much less often. You will only respond. You even, and even if you do react to a situation, then you notice this reaction fast. And then the next time you will uh, be in a similar situation, you will be much more conscious of it and you will respond naturally instead of reacting. So remove all limiting beliefs that don't serve you and start to live your life happily and with feelings of abundance. See my videos on removing limiting beliefs. And when you stop limiting beliefs, you will stop reacting to your situations, to situations around you, and you will respond to situations with a clear mind instead. You will be more mindful, and this is very powerful at giving you a feeling of being in control of your life, which will actually give you a sense of happiness in your life because it all comes from within. Whenever you are in a situation that triggers a reaction from you, pause for a second. Thoughts come and go. So do feelings. They just come and go. So a reaction to a situation can become a response to a situation if you give yourself a moment. Breathe in. Think of what you believe is real here. And then think of what you want overall. What is your goal? And respond in a productive way. This does take a lot of self-control and it does take time to build it. The more you practice, the more you will get better at it because you will become more patient with other people and with the world and you you will respond to situations as a natural uh, behavior. Being always responsive and not reactive is definitely not an easy task and it takes much practice to reach this state. 
if it can ever be reached. But you do want to slowly reduce the amount of time you spend being reactive and recover your sanity as fast as possible. Viktor Frankl said that between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In your response lies your growth and your freedom. So, as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, what deep-seated beliefs are being revealed to me through my reactions? Which thoughts have control over my life and make me feel as though I have lack in my life? Once you discover your limiting thoughts and beliefs, slowly remove them with the truth that you have no lack and that all lack is just imagined in your mind and thus should be removed from you to live your life fully. I will prepare a video about mastering your mind tomorrow to further help you with this process. So pause, take a moment, breathe in, and choose your react response through what you want to achieve in your life. So as usual, I recommend writing these, que this question, these questions in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and make sure that you're leading your life the way you want to lead your life in happiness, bliss, and much abundance. So the affirmation of the day is, I release all of my limit limiting beliefs and thus I am responding in a clear and calculated way to any given situation naturally. I release all of my limiting beliefs and thus I am responding in a clear and calculated way to any given situation naturally. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life for the better with repetition. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also um, subscribe to my channel, ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you.